say good morning. Morning. Say morning. Morning. Is it good? Is it good? So we're eating some breakfast. Can we have some toast with peanut butter? And uh, some peaches and raisins. Yeah. Mommy has the same thing. Minus raisins. Yeah. There's a peach. Take a bite. Hot. It's not hot. Hey. Yeah. Well, good morning, everyone. We are back. Okay, we definitely had a very crazy weekend. We had an awesome weekend, that's for sure. Um, we, I think I, well, I mentioned that we went to the beach with my friend and her son for the weekend um, until yesterday, until Monday, Friday through Monday. And I was totally planning on vlogging it. I was just, you know, the vlogs were just going to probably be a little shorter. Um, but yeah, I obviously didn't. Um, what happened was the GoPro was not working at all whatsoever. I got absolutely no footage with that. And we were at the beach and the pool almost all day for two days. And so, you know, vlogging that would have been really difficult not with the GoPro with this camera. So... I honestly just ended up not vlogging it um, because it was just easier to just not have to keep track of the camera. With two toddlers, it was just, we were just so busy. What? You want to talk to them? Say hey. Say hey. Yeah, you have something in your mouth. So, yeah, I honestly just didn't vlog it. Um, I do wish I did a little bit more. Um... So, yeah, we're back here. Today's Tuesday. We are just going to hang out. Um, we're eating breakfast now. It is extremely late to be eating breakfast. It is 11.30. We did not wake up until 10.45 um, because Kinley kind of got off of her normal schedule over the weekend. We She just like, went to bed later, took a nap later. Um, and so she went to bed early last night because she was so tired. She um, did really well in the car on the way back. She slept almost the entire way, but then she went to bed really early. She went to bed at about 7.30. So she was just so tired. So she slept until 10.45 to make up for it, I guess. So we are just going to eat breakfast now. We're probably only going to eat two meals today. Um, we might make a smoothie later on for a snack before dinner. Um, and yeah, we are going to run a couple errands. Um, hopefully I'm going to get her to the park. It looks like it's going to rain. Um, it was raining really badly yesterday and um on the drive home so hopefully we might get outside for a little bit it's a little cooler today so that's fine so um that's perfect for like park weather so hopefully we can get to a park for a little bit let her burn off some energy are you all excited to be home you had so much fun with brayla no braylon You've learned so much from him. You guys, she's talking so much more now from just being around him all weekend. Yeah. It's adorable. Can you say yeah? Yeah. Say yeah. Yeah. <laughs> say no, no. No. Yeah, you say no a lot. She's so happy to be home though and she was so excited to be back and see Zoe. You were giving Zoe hugs and kisses last night when we got back. Did you miss Zozo? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Zozo, yeah, you yes. missed her. Yes. You missed her very much. She missed you too. Yeah, that's what she missed. You and you're gonna look at all right. Well, let's finish our breakfast. Okay guys, so I'm almost done getting ready and I just wanted to show you guys briefly before I finish that this is what, you see, this is my hair straightened versus normal. So this side is normal and this side is straightened, obviously. This is such a huge difference. You can't really tell that that well because I'm wearing a black shirt, but here it is normal. It's like so like, well here, let me turn the camera around. It's like so like poofy and wavy. I like my normal hair. I really do. It's just, 
I used to absolutely hate it. I would straighten my hair every single morning before school. I would straighten it. And it took forever when my hair was this long. Um, this is what it is normal. It's like really, it's so thick and it's just wavy. It used to be so curly when I was little. So I'm gonna finish and you'll see what it looks like all done. And there you guys have it with my hair straightened all the way. So I definitely really like it straightened, but it's just, I have not straightened it in so long because it is so much work. Okay, not so much work. It just takes a lot of time and just with her, it's just, I don't know. Um, so I just felt like doing something different today since that's a little cooler. Um, it's, I can wear my hair down and I won't be like burning up like crazy. So, um, yeah, I just straightened it for today. Um. I usually always um, cut my hair in the winter and I put I cut it pretty short just because it's a lot easier to deal with um, being short with like jackets and stuff it gets like really annoying like in my neck and stuff so I'm debating on cutting it this winter um, I'm not sure um, if I'm going to I don't know we'll see um, <clears throat> it also dries a lot quicker obviously if I like when I shower and stuff so normally I always shower at night with her but you know, sometimes it does happen to be in the morning and then I have to go out. I hate blow drying my hair. It gets so, so poofy and just ugh, when I blow dry it. So, we're going to go out and run some errands. And yeah, it should be, should be pretty good. I actually straightened. I didn't show this because I wanted to like pay full attention to her. And she's getting all into mail ripping it up. Um, But... I actually straightened her hair too. Um, it really isn't much and it really kind of looks funny when you straighten her hair because her hair is so long in like the front. So it honestly straightened her hair. It looks like she had a mullet because it was just, at you know, she has it on the sides. She has this little like wisp, wisps at the sides. But when I straightened them, they kind of just went to the back. So I put her hair up in pigtails. So she has her first pigtails because with her hair straightened, the hair all reaches the pigtail. I think they're not gonna last. I know they're not gonna last all day because they're uneven. One has a lot more hair than the other, but, and the little hairs in the front keep falling out because they're not long enough, so. But they're still so cute. Are you reading? Yeah, is that a leaf? You got your little pigtails? This one's already coming undone. What? You pooped? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, we'll check. But it's it's pretty cute. Her hair just needs to grow a little longer before they really fail. Like, see, this one has a lot more hair because this side of her head has a lot more hair. I think we're gonna have to still put a little clippy in the front. All right, you ready? Ready? I'm gonna show everyone your OOTD. Find out. Let's see what's on your shirt. What's on your shirt? Your starlight, star bright. 
and you have your little um, blue moccasins. This is the romp. I, if you guys are confused, I made her a dress that looks just like this, but this is the romper I made a while ago. Are you ready to go? No? Okay. All right, let's go. Climb up. You so cute. Yeah. You wanna get out? You reading some books? Yeah. Yeah. You reading books? You're not even supposed to have that passy. Do you want me to make you a smoothie? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I got more fruit for you today. Hey guys, so it is late. It is a lot later. Hold on, I'll make you one. You want to you use your new cup for your smoothie? Your new little fishy cup? Yeah, you want smoothie. Okay, let's go, let's go put your books back and I'll make it. So, it is 6.30 and I am like in complete like chaos right now because I totally forgot that the kids consignment sale I'm doing is this weekend, and it's not just this weekend. I have to drop off the clothes tomorrow. So, Kelly, you gonna help mommy? Can you take Can you take those hangers that you put on the floor? Can you take them and can you put them in here? Put them in here. Thank you, baby. So, I. Happened to remember when I was out, so I got everything I needed, except um, we need way more hangers than we have, and I got the wrong size safety pins. These are way too narrow, so they don't pin onto the hangers. So, luckily, Kinley's dad was over here. Um, he came to see her for a little bit, and he has been ever so nice to run to the store real quick and try to find some bigger safety pins and more hangers. So we're doing that. Um, I am got the clothes on hangers, and then I'm gonna safety pin and tag them next. So yeah, I didn't vlog too much at the mall earlier when we went, and I let her play because my camera died. Oh, you sleepy? All right, let me make you a smoothie, okay? So guys, it is most definitely like. 3.30 in the morning. I don't know if you can tell that I am so tired. I fell asleep for a little bit. Um, laying on Kinley's donut. Um, I finally just finished tagging and hanging all of the clothes for the sale tomorrow. I spent way too much time on that. I, um, I always misjudge how long it's going to take. Like, I always, like, think that, like, you know, this is only my second time doing it. So, um... I thought that it wouldn't it wasn't gonna take me nearly as long as it really did. I started doing this at five o'clock yesterday evening and I just now finished at about about three thirty in the morning. So this is ridiculous. Um I didn't want to leave any until tomorrow morning because literally it has to be done by the time we walk out the door to take her to school because I am going to go, I have to go right up there after I drop her because I don't want to be, it's not in Raleigh, it's in a little city right, it's pretty close to us, but I don't want to be all the way up there doing this if, um, dropping the clothes off if her school calls me and says I need to come get her early. So, um, I have to have everything ready and done and in the car. So, 
Um, I finished it all. I am so grateful because my neighbor upstairs, Amanda, and Kaylin's dad helped me so much. They helped me put all of the clothes on the hangers. And this might not sound like a lot of work, but it is so much work because you have to take safety pins and you have to pin the clothes to the hangers. So like two pins, like you put the shirt on the hanger and you do two safety pins every single thing so like if you pair some stuff together you just safety pin them to the hanger because they don't want like pieces of clothing to like accidentally fall off and them not know which where it goes and stuff like that and this sounds really bad but some people really will like if you have multiple things on a hanger some people will like snatch one from a hanger to put it with something else to make it cheaper or something like i know that sounds so bad but people do do it i've seen people do it so, I mean, obviously a safety pin isn't foolproof. It's not going to make it 100%, but it takes, it makes it take a lot more time for someone to do that. So, um, they helped me do all of that. And then I had to, I printed the tags and hole punched them and zip tied them to all of the clothes myself and wrote all the prices and sizes on them. Um. And then divide them up in bins by size because I have to go in there and hang them by size. So let me show you guys. So this is all I have. It doesn't look like too, too much like when it's in these bins. But let me tell you, these are packed full. And they, it was all over here. All over here. So this is what I mean. So it's like safety pinned. So like on this one, there's like two pairs of jeans. I put it so I didn't have so many hangers and stuff. So... There's two pairs, one front, one back, and then I had to put my tags on there. Um, I have a seller number, and I had to put my tags on there. Wrote the size, the price, eight dollars, and then discount. Yes, on the last day of the sale, it's half price day, and you can choose whether you want your stuff to be discounted or not. Everything I put everything yes to discount because um, I just want to get rid of it. So eight bucks for two pairs of. Nice jeans are is a steal. These are children's place jeans too. So and then if it doesn't sell, someone could potentially get them for four bucks. So two each. That's a steal, man. So all this stuff is going. Hopefully it will sell. I um I don't think I'm gonna put any toys or anything there because I don't know. There's just so many toys that a lot I know a lot of people when they go to sales like this, they go specifically for clothes. Um, so I might put one or two bigger toys there just to see if they, I can get rid of them. Um, so yeah. Um, well, Kimberly has of course been in bed for hours. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and end the vlog here and I am going to bed right now. So.